In this video, we are going to talk about one of the premier genres in electronic dance music, which is house music. Now, for me, house music is probably one of my favorite genres. I typically am mixing it in all of its varieties when I am doing any of my sets. And I think it is probably one of the most common forms of electronic dance music that you will hear on the radio or in the club, at the bar, wherever. And it is, according to you know some DJs and producers, the people's music because it's simple enough that anybody can get down and dance with it, but it's not too out there, not too weird, not too hardcore, not too you know, freaky that, that it puts off some people, but at the same time has a deep roots that and has a lot of uh, really meaningful and important messages behind its development. So let's talk about what is house music and what is the best way to understand what house music is? Well, it is to go and reference who uh, some of the artists who have been creating house music. And so I've chosen three kind of excerpts here about trying to understand what is house music. And the first one is from Mr. Fingers, Can You Feel It, which is a great track. You should definitely check it out. And it states that in the beginning, there was Jack and Jack had a groove. And one day while viciously throwing down on his box, Jack boldly declared, let there be house. The second quote I have here is, not everybody understands house music. It's a spiritual thing by Eddie Amador in his track, House Music. And finally, uh, because once you're into my house, it then becomes our house and our house music by Chuck Roberts, my house, the acapella. As you can see, there's definitely a lot of charge and philosophy around what it is that house music is. But generally speaking, it is with the message of unity and trying to get everybody to feel like they belong. And that's really important because some of the history of house music, in some ways, uh, people see house music as disco's revenge. It's the kind of echo or reverberation of the original 1970s and 80s disco movement, which kind of went underground and had to be reborn and rebranded as house music. And the original ethos or philosophy around disco was, again, this unity, this uh, acceptance, especially for minority groups, uh, queer, gay, lesbian, black, uh, Hispanic, Latino, who were uh, living with the difficulties of their lives and wanted to find uh, a place where they could essentially find sanctuary and belonging and uh, um, you know, peace away from the difficulties. And so house music has this history, which is very important to recognize in being about the uh, unity and bringing together of people. So let's talk about, you know, maybe what is house music in a more technical level. Uh, house music is a distinguishing four on the floor uh, beat. I think it was Francois K from New York who said that the origins of house music was taking the break in a track and turning it into the track itself. So when you listen to, you know, maybe a disco song or a rock song or what have you, there would be these common parts in the, the track, which were only a few seconds, which would be the break. And you'd have kind of the drummer drumming along. And the idea behind house music was to take that break and turn it into an entire track. And those breaks uh, typically follow that four on the floor beat pattern. And so we talked about that previously in a another video, but four on the floor, as you recall, is that kind Kind of kick drum on the the one of every beat and it creates that kind of rhythmic hypnotic element that makes house music super danceable now house music typically averages in a tempo of around 120 bpm but i've seen it anywhere from 117 all the way up to 129 bpm when you're getting up to the more uh you know fast paced versions of, of house music and as i mentioned uh, house music is kind of disco's revenge according to some people when the uh general mainstream um music industry kind of became a little bit distasteful of disco in the late 80s, then uh, disco kind of had to undergo a, re uh, a revolution and a rebirth uh, through house music. And it was reborn in a bit of a strange place, you, something you would not expect, which was Chicago. And uh, Chicago was kind of the, the central area that is, is kind of noted as being the birthplace of house music, specifically with uh, one club known as The Warehouse, which created the origin of the name house music because uh, house music was the music that was played at The Warehouse. And so since we're talking about the, the Godfathers, we might as well talk a little bit about the pioneers here, which I do have some info on on the, uh, the the pioneers here, if I can. <laughs> so as I mentioned, we have you know what is considered the godfather of house, which is Frankie Knuckles. Um, 
And then I have a second name here, which is one of the other godfathers of house as well, which is Ron Hardy, who was a DJ who used to play at a club called Music Box in Chicago. Now, what's cool about the history between these two is that Frankie Knuckles uh, had sort of a little bit more sensual uh, disco NYC sound to his sets, which gives uh, the origins of house kind of this you know, lush, chordy type of feeling. And in contrast to Frankie Knuckles sets, you had a DJ like Ron Hardy, who used to play tracks extremely fast. It wasn't uncommon for him to play what what uh, tracks at what is known as plus eight, which is, you know, taking the tempo slider and pushing it all the way to the max in the uh, speed direction. And so his uh, Ron Hardy sets were extremely fast and, you know, fast paced and got everybody sweating and, and moving. And so these two together kind of created this, this movement in some way of, uh, you know, what we think of now as modern house music. But it wasn't just Frankie Knuckles and Ron Hardy. We also have a, a collection of several others uh, that I've listed here, including Joe Smooth, who had this amazing track, Promised Land, which I absolutely adore. Then we have Chip E with his classic track, Time to Jack. We have Jesse Saunders with arguably the first house track ever created, On and On. And the funny story about On and On is that uh, it was, it's considered one of the first house tracks, but it wasn't known for it being the highest quality. It was actually uh, most impressive because people, when they heard the track, thought they could do so much better than what Jesse Saunders had done with On and On. And so it really inspired this kind of punk rock ethos around making your own tracks and not being afraid to try things out and make some house music of your own. And so Jesse Saunders in that way is kind of etched into history as being one of the, the first people to create a house music record. Uh, then we have Steve Silk Hurley with classic house music track, Jack Your Body. And finally, we have Farley Jack Master Funk. And it's also important to note that um, these, a lot of these folks were part of what was called the Hot Mix 5 in Chicago, which was famous for running these kind of DJ radio shows, which again, all sparked that ethos into the music culture in Chicago. But these are definitely some of the uh, pi pioneers in the genre of house music in Chicago. So within house music as a broader genre, we then have a ton of different subgenres. Now, I don't have the time to list out every subgenre, and there are probably way too many subgenres even to cover in a video here, but I've just chosen uh, at random a few different subgenres that I thought were interesting to talk about. And the first one is kind of Chicago house, which we could see as kind of more the classic house uh, music style. Then we have something called Deep House, which adds a little bit more deeper, moodier sides to house music. We have Disco House, which is kind of disco-influenced house, so a little bit more focused on melodics and strings and instrumentals, guitars, etc. We then have House Music, which is kind of modern house music. And then we have different, even more interesting flavors like Tech and Tribal House, which have influences from techno as well as uh, tribal elements using Latin percussions or African percussions to add intrigue to the drum pattern and programming. And then we have nowadays what is kind of dance or pop music in house format, which is kind of commercial or more mainstream dance music that again, follows that house music template. So there are so many other forms of house music. Uh, there is organic house music, tech house music, uh, minimal, micro house, you name it, there's probably a subgenre for it. Because house music is kind of this large, um, first uh, land of electronic dance music that producers really had a, an opportunity to jump on and start sprawling and creating their mark in the world. And it still is today probably the most well-known uh, genre of electronic dance music because of its its message about unity and um, bringing everybody together and making everybody feel like they belong. It's really hard not to get totally influenced and obsessed with, with house music. So this has just been a video on some of the attributes of house music. We learned a little bit of the pioneers. We defined what is house music. We've got a little bit of philosophical information about what house music is. And hopefully you can take this in your studies and you can check out some of those tracks that I've listed so you can get a better feeling for uh, the, the spirit of, of house music. So I hope you join me in the next video as we continue to talk a little bit more about some of the genres in this course. Okay.